in order to subscribe to my channel please click here or click here please share comment and like my videos and channel hello guys welcome to SAS with service now I'm excited to start a new series which is application creation in service now in this series we will create different applications so that you can understand and learn end-to-end -end development of ServiceNow. You will be able to learn how to create applications in ServiceNow and how to apply different scripting as per the business requirement, which will also help you to understand the whole platform, that how exactly you do the development in ServiceNow. Like you'll be able to learn script includes, business rules, client scripts, and different other scripting elements which are used to build the platform, to build an application, to fulfill the requirement of your customer, to fulfill the different type, types of requirements of your customers and clients. Now, in this series, we will create an application. And that application is Leave Management System. Now this is a simple application which is basically used in every organization. Maybe I cannot think that this application, I would say kind of a mandatory application that you will definitely find this application in every organization. When I say this application, that means this system because every organization wants to manage the leaves of the employees. So you might have different other applications, you might have third party applications, you might have some internal applications in your organization, but this is the application which every organization has. So in this particular session, we are going to develop this application, Leave Management System. So let's start with the creation of this application. So we will start with the business requirement. So let's say you are a ServiceNow developer and maybe you, you have a, a big team of ServiceNow development. Now you get the requirement from your customers and that customer is this time is from HR. Now HR, let's say they, they, are, they, are, they were using some different third party application and now they, they got to know about ServiceNow capability. So they thought, why don't we reach out to ServiceNow team and ask if they can create something like that, similar to what they have currently in ServiceNow. And overall, they want to create this application. So the requirement is, HR business has a requirement to create a new application in ServiceNow, which will be the global application for submitting leave requests by employees and maintaining leave data of employees. So that's what HR business wants this kind of application. Now, another feature or maybe another requirement in addition to this uh, requirement is that application should have configuration option to define the leaves for a different country. That means this application should be global. That means every everybody should be able to use this application. That means maybe the organization is a multinational company and they have employees all over the world. So your application should be designed and created in such a way so that every, uh, every employee of different countries can use that application and submit the request and see the leave details. And that's what uh, they, they want this kind of application, not for one country, but for the global application. What will you learn in this session? Now, while creating this application leave management system, what exactly you will learn? Now, you will not learn just one uh, element or one uh, piece of service now. You will learn a lot of different things in this session. Because that's what we are going to do. We are going to create a new application, which will basically, we will create different elements which will support the application. So, we will learn creating scoped application in ServiceNow. We will learn creating tables in ServiceNow. We will learn scripting in ServiceNow. We will learn how to do form designing in ServiceNow. 
we will learn how to create client scripts in service now we will learn creating business rules in service now we will learn creating script includes in service now we will learn creating glide ajax so if you haven't done or if you don't know about glide ajax then we will learn glide ajax as well in this session we will learn creating ui policy we will also learn that how exactly you can do date and time calculation i think this is one of the important uh, i would say piece in development that every developer definitely wants to learn this that how we can calculate date and time then you will learn about roles adding roles defining roles you will learn about acls we will learn about creating racket producer how you can create racket producer in service now and how exactly user will see that data what kind of changes you can do that's something we will learn in this session and we will learn about catalog ui policies how we can create catalog ui policies how it works we will also learn about catalog client scripts and how exactly they work we will learn about creating modules and we will learn about creating application in studio so scoped application we, that's what we are talking about and we will be creating this application in studio that is the out of the box feature of service now architecture and data model now i'm not going to talk about architecture and data model in details but if i talk about overall and if you are a developer it's very important that before start developing the application it's very important that you have to make sure that your design your architecture and data model is ready before start starting the development of the application so if i talk about the high level architecture that you should have high level architecture so we will just uh, put the name so the name of the application we will have leave management system and then we will have different tables because we are going to create an application so we will have three different tables leave request we will have leave logic that's kind of a leave calculator and uh, then we have leave bucket so these are the three different tables now leave request is something which which users will request the leaves so if if one employee is going for a leave so he should have a kind of a form which he can request it so this particular table will track all those records all those requests all those new requests then we have leave logic now this is something kind of a leave calculator which basically calculates how to uh, assign leaves what are the balance uh, leaves how exactly how exactly i can calculate it if if i have to assign the leaves as per the country if i have to assign the leaves um, as per the type as well that how many leaves i have to assign that's what this this table will store that kind of data and then we have leave bucket now leave bucket is something that every employee has uh, their leave bucket that how many leaves they have because they they definitely take the leaves how many leaves they have accrued how many leaves they have taken uh, what exactly the balance is that's what we will store in this particular table now all this data is dynamic because uh, leave logic will definitely be static because it will be as per the uh, user's country Uh, but if i talk about leave bucket so this is something uh, will be dynamic will keep on changing then what exactly uh, or every employee has has uh, kind of leaves in their bucket that's something you can store in this particular table now when i talk about data model you also need to make sure that what all fields you are going to create how that uh, reference will happen that how these tables will relate to each other that's how you make the architecture so it basically helps you to design the application before starting the development of the application then we have front end so if i talk about the ui that means how users will request it so you can uh, basically add your uh, request form maybe on portal that is something you can do for that maybe you can 
create a racket producer so in this application creation we will create a racket producer which we can put on the portal and employees can request uh, for their leaves and they can submit the request which can go for approval so that's how you can you can uh, run the process so let's begin the creation of application so we are going to create our new application in my personal developer instance and that is also scoped application so this is my personal developer instance and I will start with studio so I will go to studio by typing studio in application navigator I will click on here it will open the studio in new tab So it has opened the studio now here you can see it's the just I think fresh instance of Paris it's in Paris uh, Paris version and I don't have single application created yet in this particular instance in order to create a new application I just need to click on this button create application now this service now will open a pretty much I would say a good UI which basically walk me through that how exactly I can create the application so it says hey hi system uh, that's basically my first name that's the reason it is taking hi system uh, and then it says that yes this is how let, you can create the application so you can say it says choose a name and app experience create a table add data customize details but I, I will just ignore this for now and I will just click on let's get started I will click on this button now in the beginning it will ask me to enter app name so I can put the app name and my app name is leave I will just do leave management system and I will go to describe your app and this is for requesting and tracking or and managing leaves of employees it is just an example I'm giving and I have this advanced settings I think I don't need it uh, here I have the scope of the application so it says maybe I will just do this is better so this is my scope and I will just click on create now I can also uh, upload a logo if I want but I'm not adding a logo right now so I will just click on create it will go for next step then now here you have to search for the roles that what roles you want to add or maybe you want to create a new role for this application it's totally up to you because uh, you, you 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 might have some requirement that you want to uh, enable or make this application visible to specific roles that's some you can decide yourself or maybe as per the uh, requirement you get here uh, from HR partners that what what exactly the visibility would be for this application but as of now I'm just uh, uh, making it for admin so I'm just uh, adding this role to this application for now and I will click on continue now here it will ask me that in which format you want to use this application so I'm not selecting this workspace or mobile right now and I'm just selecting this classic version that's it and I will click on continue now here it is asking me that which data tables you want to use for this application so so let's say I'll just click over here create a table now the first table which we talked about I will create it from scratch click on continue and here I will put leave type that's my first field because that's what you have to select that what different types of you leaves you can apply so here I will select basically string or maybe I can just do choice as well uh, it says drop down with none and I can do without none at least one choice is required so as of now I will keep uh, drop down with none and I will click on continue uh, now here you have to provide the name of the table so name of the table I can give leave request 
and it says make extensible no I don't want auto number yes I have to give the number now here I have uh, I will say leave R it's just uh, maybe R E Q it's leave request that is I can just uh, put I have uh, starting number this uh, seven that's okay and I will just click on continue if I do that it is just creating the application and now it says fields created because these are all some system uh, uh, system fields as well which it creates uh, when you create a new table in service now and I will click on continue now you can see I have this one table selected and now I'm not basically I will not get this uh, graded out button which I was getting so if I click on start so you can see okay I'm not giving maybe description over here so I have this table and you can see I have this button as well create because I do have at least one table to select so I will click on create and now I can click on done with apps so if I click on done with apps I'm done it says great job that means I have created the application and I will click on done so now you can see so now I can work on this application so if I click over here it has created the 1.1.0 uh, 1 version that's a initial version of your application so here you can see when you create an application it still creates some of the artifacts like for for your application so you can see we already have this table which we created it automatically creates the ACLs that you can see over here uh, it also created the application menu and at the same time it also created modules automatically so you don't have to uh, create them separately it automatically created it so that's how you create an application